So the day to don those once a year wearables is here. Today is National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day. The creative holiday tradition is hotter than ever. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch looks at the history behind this festive trend. Their required attire for Christmas time carpool karaoke Christmas, oh, the coming down. have taken center stage on the big screen. Maybe this was the mysterious Mr. Wright I've been waiting my whole life to meet. You know the Bridget? Maybe not. And in our newsroom, they're kitschy, comical, sometimes crude, may even light up or jingle. Tis the season for ugly sweaters. I do love ugly sweaters. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of lights, so if you're gonna see my ugly sweater, you're gonna see it from a mile away. Here's picture proof. Gabriella Gallardo's sweater is certainly merry and bright. What qualifies as the ugliest, though? Um, probably something that has like stuff all over it, like stuff stuck to it, and like on your sleeves and on your back and all over the place. <laughs> Kelly Fitzpatrick really gets into her ugly sweaters. Oh, Christmas tree. We met all these jolly folk at Everything Christmas in Lake Grove, where ugly sweaters have been a mainstay for the past five years. They haven't gotten uglier, I can tell you that. <laughs> no, they haven't. Here, there aren't just sweaters for humans, but for your beer, too. Need some eye-popping accessories to wear with your knitwear? Look no further. I think they're cool. You know, I've got a few myself. Lorette Morgan admits her Christmas sweaters are vintage. When you bought them, though, did you think they were ugly? No, not at all, not at all. <laughs> she wasn't alone. To prove it, we met with Fashion Institute of Technology Associate Professor Lisa D'Onofrio, who tells us the Christmas sweater story began in the early 50s. They were the typical Norman Rockwell type family. On Christmas Day, mom and dad would wear them. They would go caroling. In the 80s, people wore them for real. They were considered beautiful and embellished. D'Onofrio actually designed them in the late 80s and early 90s. A lot of coloring and rendering, uh, working with it was more like artwork. Here's her portfolio. What would one of your sweaters potentially retail for? Probably um, in the $70 range, and they would go up to about $125. Today you can find them for way less, but so seems the quality. I asked her if she's at all offended that Americans now consider these sweaters ugly. No, not at all. I think it's part of the times. I think it's so much fun. Good tidings they certainly bring to you and your kin during this most wonderful time of year. Happy Christmas, everybody. We'll see Happy you next Christmas. year. Happy Christmas. Have a great New Year to Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.